Mexico City, a sprawling capital home to over 20 million people. And while Mexico is known for its beautiful beach towns, it seems that the capital city itself is often overlooked as a tourist destination. So is it underrated? My name is Ricky Marino, and I'm gonna show you the most popular tourist attractions and all the reasons why people say, I love Mexico City. I love Mexico City. Viva Mexico. Viva Mexico. I love, I love Mexico, Mexico City. city. Welcome to Mexico City. When you arrive at the airport, the official taxi stands are very clearly visible as soon as you exit customs, with a lineup of yellow cabs waiting for you right outside the doors. However, I prefer using Uber, which will conveniently pick you up right here next to the taxis. They're safe, they're much cheaper, and they'll get you into the city within the hour depending on traffic. The Zocalo, also known as Plaza de la Constitución, is the city's historical center. It's the second largest public square in the world and the perfect starting point for all the sites downtown. You can really see Mexico City through the ages here in the Zocalo. Throughout its long and oftentimes brutal history, this place has been a center of civilization for all who have passed through. And all that history has led us to today where people can come and appreciate its past. Only five centuries ago, this was a thriving center of Aztec civilization. They called it Tenochtitlan. The remnants of this massive empire now lay buried beneath the modern city. And here in the Zocalo, you can peer into the past at the site of the Templo Mayor. This is all that's left of the Templo Mayor, the main temple of Tenochtitlan. It's only a small portion of what it used to be since it was dismantled by the Spanish to build their own cathedral in this very same spot. But excavations are ongoing throughout the city and who knows what they're going to find in the future. The Zocalo is located within the El Centro district and within just a few blocks from the square is a long list of museums and historic sites that are worth a visit such as the Palacio Bellas Artes, this elaborate functioning post office, the National Art Museum, and the Torre Latinoamericana. When the Torre Latinoamericana was built, it was the tallest building in Latin America. You can take an elevator to an observation deck up top where you'll get the best view of the city. Hola. Hola. Uh, una ticket, por favor. Ah. Anyone who says they don't like Mexican food is lying. Mexico City is one of the best food cities in the world. But here in the heart of Mexico, the tacos reign supreme. Tacos, tacos, tacos from a taco stand. I keep the salsa flowing like the Rio Grande. And see you that in Mexico is where I insist. If you want to come and get your taco fix. Tacos, don't be wasting your time with gorditos. Some carne asada, pollo and more Say boom for the best The El Pastor The perfect taco is made up of three important things The tortilla, the salsas, and the fillings Now, if you can't handle spicy food, be careful which salsas you choose Because they don't mess around here in Mexico City But these tacos, these tacos right here 
These are what dreams are made of. Your secret weapon to getting around the city is the Mexico City metro system. Most tourists will overlook the metro since rideshares and taxis are so cheap, but it has proven to be a reliable way to get around, especially to beat traffic on those long distance rides. A one-way ticket is only 25 cents, and you could download a free metro app to tell you exactly where to go. The Metro is easy to use, they're clean, they'll get you around the city fast, and each ride only costs a quarter. How could you beat that? Damn it. Even though Mexico City is a giant metropolis packed with 20 million people and plagued with never-ending traffic, you can take a break from it all with a lazy afternoon here in Chapultepec Park. Chapultepec Park is an important green space in the city that covers almost 1,700 acres, twice the size of New York's Central Park. But most visitors gravitate to the section of the park with the lake and all the food vendors. Families come here to relax, look at some birds, test out their new leases, and have some cotton candy. And while you're here in the park, be sure to make time for the Museum of Anthropology, which happens to be the most visited museum in all of Mexico. So if your time is limited, this one should definitely be at the top of your list. The Museum of Anthropology is home to an extensive collection of pre-Hispanic artifacts from every civilization that has inhabited Mexico. Also in the park is a friendly population of squirrels that are eager to eat right out of the palm of your hand. But don't feed them any junk food, cause they'll die. About an hour outside the city is a massive archaeological site known as Teotihuacan. Long before the Aztecs, there was another group of people that settled here. They came, built these pyramids, established a thriving civilization, then just vanished. And for a thousand years, this place was just sitting here, empty and forgotten, eventually being rediscovered by the Aztecs. They found it to be so profound and impressive that they named it Teotihuacan, or City of the Gods, and it will forever be shrouded in mystery. Even though Teotihuacan is one of the most visited archaeological sites in Mexico, it's the least understood. It's all just speculation as to how these pyramids were built, who the people were that built them, and why they were abruptly abandoned so long ago. What we do know is that this site is absolutely amazing to see in person, and you'd be crazy not to come see it for yourself while you're in Mexico City. What happened to our past? Thought it was built to last. We all just fade away, long gone atomic blast. The world moves on around us, but our souls ring. Here at Teotihuacan, you're actually able to climb the Pyramid of the Sun, making it one of the only ancient pyramids in the world where this is allowed. It's 248 huge steep steps up this thing. 
and this train ain't stopping until I get to the top. Legend has it that Montezuma, the last emperor of the Aztecs who was slaughtered by the invading Spaniards, now gets his revenge by getting tourists sick. Also known as traveler's diarrhea, this illness is caused by a bacteria in the water and only affects visiting gringos. Stay away from ice and only brush your teeth with bottled water. restaurants, ask if the water is purified and use your best judgment. But remember, you're the one who's going to be sick in the end and it can ruin your whole experience. So play it safe and don't drink the water. Lucha Libre is a hugely popular cultural phenomenon here in Mexico. Here at Arena Mexico, wrestlers put on their masks and entertain a crowd for two hours every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday, all year round. And getting tickets when you arrive is cheap and easy. There's several places you can see a match, but Arena Mexico is where you'll find the most diverse crowd. Families, tourists, and of course, the true fans. Immerse yourself into the chaotic crowd as these masked luchadors battle it out in the ring. If you want to sit up close to all the action, the best seats in the house won't cost you more than 20 bucks. You don't have to know what's going on or speak any Spanish to have a good time here. Just enjoy the show. Mexico City is one of the largest cities in the world with no direct link to a water source. But it didn't start off that way. The Aztecs built their capital on a network of man-made islands and canals over a large lake. Over time, the lake and waterways were drained to make way for the mega city it has become. But a small portion of these canals have lived on through centuries of change 
to become a popular tourist attraction here in the neighborhood of Xochimilco. In Xochimilco, you could board one of these colorful boats and explore the last of Mexico City's canals. It's about 45 minutes from the city and will cost you around $25 to hire your own boat and driver for an hour, but it's up to you how long you want your ride to be. Locals mostly use Xochimilco as a fun place for the family to gather on the weekends and have parties, eat delicious food that can be purchased from passing boats, and dancing the floating mariachi bands. I recommend coming earlier on a weekday before it gets too busy, while the canals are still calm and peaceful, and you can enjoy the serenity of this place where it's just you, a boat, a guy with an oar, and the ancient waters beneath you. For the last hundred years, mariachis have been coming from all corners of the city to perform here in Plaza Garibaldi, approaching tables and taking requests, serenading everyone within earshot, Having dinner here and enjoying the music remains an experience you don't want to miss. Mexico City is an amazing place that shouldn't be skipped over. It's become the safest big city in Mexico for travelers, and there's no way you'll see everything in just one trip. But there's still one last thing I have to do before I go. Hola, ¿cómo está? Un tequila, por favor. Gracias. Tenemos. Perfecto, gracias. Vivo México. Sweet. Gracias. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Mezcal. Ooh, mezcal? Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. Okay. Woo! Woo! Gracias. Perfecto. Woo! <laughs>